Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new episode of the LDM show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing a very important topic regarding science and has science become a new religion. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? I'm alhamdulillah very well. You well? So, um, science. Now, obviously, you've been around a bit longer than I have on earth, right? Science has had. <laughs> Science has been had time to evolve. You've had time to yeah. change, yeah. right? So science was obviously viewed in a very different way, maybe uh, around the time of maybe your father and your maybe great grandfather, and the time it is now. Now, for example, I was in a video game shop, and I, you know, I was talking to the guy. I said, "Do you believe in God?" He said, "I believe in science." So, how do you respond to someone like that? I mean, why do you think people have this way of making it into a religion? Mm. I think, you know, I'm not, I think what has changed is, yes, perhaps, uh, perhaps science, perhaps science has changed, but also perhaps people's attitude towards religion has changed a lot as well, um, and religion has become a lot less important. And I think if we think about why, 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 why do people, why do people and why did people consider religion to be important? Um, and why do people consider anything to be important, whether it's science or religion? And I think ultimately, uh, for most people, it's, you know, what's in it for me? Or what do I get from it? Self-interest. Um, yeah, it's self-interest. So if people get something positive in their lives from religion, uh, they will be religious and they'll support religion. Um, and, and obviously, religion has paid, played historically a very important role in people's lives in a very positive way. It's so it's very easy to think about all the negatives of religion, um, uh, but actually, and until today, um, and even today, science shows that people who follow religion tend to have Happy happier lives. lives. Yeah, um, and there's some very good reasons for that um, because religion religion provides uh, a framework in which to become psychologically happy. Mm -hmm. Many of the key things that um, allow us to feel happy as human beings, religion has the ingredients for that. Um, science doesn't really. That's the strange thing. I mean, it does in some ways, maybe if you are a scientist and you're actually involved in uh, discovering things, um, then the experience of studying and discovering <clears throat> is very very satisfying it, it, it provides the key ingredients um, for happiness um, but just believing in science and not participating in it the reason for that is i think because of what people think science has done for them they attribute you know technology um, you know, everything most of the things they experience in the world around them uh, they experience, they, they attribute it to science. So the iPad, the iPhone. The... You got it, exactly. So the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone, <laughs> the, iPhone the iPad, you know, the TV, um, and everything that's connected with it, how we get from A to B. So it seems to be as if all of these things are, uh, you know, miracles. Yeah. Miracles of this science. And in many ways it has become a new religion. I mean, exactly like you said, you know, do you believe in God? No, I believe in science. As, as if, you know, science is... Mutually exclusive. Ex well, not just mutually exclusive, but it's... He's almost saying is that, yeah, God, that's one religion, science, this is another religion. Yeah. It's almost as if he's, ad he's admitting that, right? In the same way that some people w will quite happily say that, you know, football is their religion. Um, so, and actually in some ways, the interesting thing is, it's, it is a recognition of what religion really is and what does religion really mean. Um, so, yeah, science has taken that in, in many, many ways has for many people. In the West, I think very specifically, has taken that role of being the religion. Um, Do you think this is yeah. because of the, um, the fact that scientists were persecuted in the Christian world, right? And then it was almost like when the church was declining, you had the enlightenment and you had this new age of science. So is that the reason why this is the case more in the Christian world, the former Christian world than the Muslim world? I think, I think part of the problem is, um, and obviously Christians are not going to like this, but the reality is, is that Christian, Christianity, the, the basic doctrines of Christianity are irrational. 
they're impossible. You know, believing that um, uh, believing that an eternal, infinite, self-sufficient creator became a temporary, mortal, needy man and was still an eternal, self-sufficient creator at the same time is asking us to believe in impossibility. So anybody who is embarking, as people were uh, in the age of enlightenment, uh, and decided that you know we need to use our reason more, or reason should be the primary source from where we get our, get our information rather than authority. Um, it's 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 not going to be easy for them. It's almost going to be inevitable for them to reject Christianity, and that's why there's a certain stage in the Enlightenment, the late Enlightenment, that theism became you know the default belief system. Oh, theism. Yeah. De you're right, deism, not theism. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> deism, yeah, deists, yeah, exactly. The rational, yeah, which is sort of rational idea of God, okay. Um, which is closer to the Islamic. But it is in some ways. In some ways, it is. Um, but it was a very impersonal God. It was a yeah. sort of a God who just created everything and then Mechanical had no, universe. yeah, had no real, you know, concern or attachment for humanity. That that's not. I don't really think that's a rational conclusion looking at the world around us. Um, but you know, the, they had many problems, many issues, theological issues to try and figure out, like the problem of evil, for example, uh, was a big challenge. What's the purpose of life? What's the purpose <laughs> of life? You know, what's going to happen after you die? Yeah. So if you've rejected, the problem is if you've rejected authority altogether, totally, where are you going to source this information from? Where's even your source of morality? Exactly. And, 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 and what basis, what is your basis from which you are going to know more about God? So the problem is once you've rejected religion altogether, you, you know, reason doesn't provide us much information about God. Um, but you know, back to, you know, back to science being the new religion, I think what is really key here is that what is being, people are being indoctrinated. This is the reality, right? I mean, we talk about when a person, you know, often you find when you hear about a person who's become Muslim, their parents say, oh, you've become brainwashed, right? Or even if you've become a born again Christian, right? I mean, today, probably in England, if you follow any religion seriously, people will say you're, you're brainwashed. brainwashed. When you become a Harry Krishna, uh, you know, Mormon. a robe wearing Buddhist, a Mormon, a born again Christian, Jedi. you know, yeah, Jedi, <laughs> no, but whatever. I mean, they'll say, yeah, they probably wouldn't mind that because they know it's a joke, right? Yeah. But I mean, you know, they'd say you've been brainwashed. But in reality, the people who are being indoctrinated and brainwashed are the people of the society. They're being indoctrinated with materialism and consumerism. Capitalism is in essence. Yeah, yeah well, it, not necessarily. It, it could be, you know, it could be, a, it doesn't necessarily have to be capitalist. But the, the point being, and this is very important from, from the discussion about scientism, which is the idea that science has the answers for everything, right? It's almost that science is the religion. Right? Is that materialism is the point here? Is that at the end of the day, you are just a material being. You are just matter. Uh, you're, yeah, you're just matter. You're a sophisticated monkey. Um, you know, at the end of the day, what really matters are material things. And what you want um, to do. Yeah. What you so if you if you have a nice house, you have a nice car. You know, you have a beautiful girlfriend. You know, you're having fun in your life. That's all that matters. That that those are the ingredients they say to make a successful life. So people now, I mean, we talk about the iPad and the i the iPhone, for example. You know, there's a very interesting book called Brand Washed when they talk about how science that science is used in order to make you buy stuff. And they scan people's brains to find out what state of mind they are in when they are buying a product. And they found that people who use iPhones show the same brain patterns as people who are having a religious experience. Oh, uh, that is that is such a profound thing that you know. Although we've come to near to the end of the show, yeah. is, we can you can talk. Well, you about can see topic. the link between iPhone technology, science religious experience it links up yeah. and so it comes as a package right it all comes as a package it's not science in isolation and this is why evolution is key, key evolution for them is key because 
for them it defeats the idea of needing a god. You don't need to believe in God. Even though that's irrational, you, you just can believe in both. Obviously. You can, you can, but it's important for them. That's why they push it because it's all part of the materialistic philosophy, yeah. the consumer society. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Inshallah, it's a pleasure.